Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for this BCA Sports presentation of Brockton Lady Boxers Basketball. Tonight, the Brockton Lady Boxers welcome the Sandwich Blue Knights to the confines of Staff Gymnasium in the final game of the season prior to the Lady Boxers venturing into the MIAA playoffs. My name is Peter Zimbor. I'll have the call of tonight's action alongside my broadcast partner, Fernando Martins. Fernando, hey, good evening. Guys. And welcome to the broadcast booth. You are a member of the Brockton High School Television Production Club, and you'll be joining us tonight on the broadcast. So, hello. I'm Fernando, as you said before. And uh, how are you tonight, Peter? I'm doing just well. Brockton looking to finish off the season on a high note prior to entering the playoffs. It is senior night here at Staff Gymnasium, so we'll be talking about the limited amount of seniors on this Brockton Boxers team as the season progresses, just, or as the game progresses. Just one senior, Tatiana Diaz, who came to Brockton, I believe, during her sophomore year following a freshman venture at a Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. The lone senior on this Brockton Liddy Boxers team, and it's her night, I suppose, on senior night. Oddly enough, prior to the game, a family member of hers was given her balloons, which she was given, as part of senior night to hold, and uh, they did not hold them quite well. They floated up to the top of the ceiling where they reside right now. That's odd. I also transferred my sophomore year here, but I'm a junior, not a senior. So there's that. And I transferred from Cardinal Spellman, not from Southeastern. Yeah, I didn't transfer from Southeastern. So you, you're from an area school as well. Yeah. Just about set to get things underway. Prior to tonight's game in the warm ups for the Brock and Lady Boxers, they were sporting warm-up t-shirts which said Coach Brennan on the back. This is the first Brockton Lady Boxers basketball game that BCA has broadcast since the sudden death of former longtime Brockton Lady Boxers basketball coach Pat Brennan. We would like to let the family and friends of Pat Brennan know that everyone at Brockton Community Access sends their condolences. I know that myself, I probably called more Lady Boxer games with him at the helm as head coach of that team than any of the other head coaches this team has had throughout the years, the only other two being April Dingwell, the current head coach, and Eric DiBiase. So our condolences, our thoughts certainly go out to the Brennan family. This game is underway. Brockton taking on Sandwich. Brockton down low, number 11 off the glass. No good. She gets her rebound, however, puts it back up off the glass and in. That is number 11, Tony Fairhurst, the sophomore. So Brockton up to zip to begin the game. Seven minutes and 25 seconds in to the first quarter. And just like that, the head coach for the Sandwich Blue Knights likes to call a timeout. So not even one minute into the game, Sandwich Blue Knights head coach is not pleased with what he sees already. His team entering with a record of eight wins and 11 losses, a sub-500 record against what has become the juggernaut of female Division I basketball on the South Shore this year, the Brock and Lady Boxers. And I think he wants to be very firm with his team from the get-go because this one could get ugly real early. Sounds about right. Feel like if you have it tighter in the beginning and make sure everything's in place, it'll be harder for it to get out of place. So. As I take a look at the Brock and Lady Boxes coaching staff right now, April Dingwell, the head coach, her assistant, Stephanie Savas, a freshman basketball coach here at Brockton High along with being April Dingwell's assistant at the varsity level. Stephanie Savas, a former four-year member of the Brockton Lady Boxers basketball team who actually played under the tutelage of Pat Brennan during her time here at Brockton High School. Inside the perimeter for two, that is the Sandwich Blue Knights number 23, Casey Noon with the first block of the game for Sandwich. And we're all tied up at two sandwich ball. Seven minutes flat left to go here in the opening quarter. Peter Zimbor and Fernando Martin joining you here at courtside. Fernando, let's talk a little bit about yourself. You are a member of the Brockton High School Television Production Club here at Brockton High, which regularly helps us out with coverage of Brockton Lady Boxers basketball. You are a junior, you mentioned moments ago? Yes, I am a junior. What, um, what building are you in here at? I'm in Azure building. I was an Azure student myself. It's best, it is the best building. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I'll stick with that. <laughs> Sandwich will inbound from the end line. 6.38 left to go in the opening quarter. Ooh. 
And just launching it up and going out of bounds. That was number 14, Leah Adams. 2 2 just scored 6.29 left to go here in the first quarter. So a junior here at Brockton High School in the Azure Building. Tell us what teachers you have and what classes you're currently taking. Um, so far, I've had Mr. Jills. I had him last year for for Algebra 2. And this year, I had Miss Heenahan for Precalculus. I've also had uh, Mrs. Flores and um, Mrs. Clifford. But she recently left the school, I've heard. Um, I think all my other teachers are new teachers. I don't know if you would know all the other names. Well, tell me who they are. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, Regardless, some of our folks listening to this broadcast will know. I had um, Mrs. Hamden. I've also had um, Mr. Bachman. He's an older teacher. Nice block courtesy of Tony Fairhurst for the Lady Boxers. Number 24, Catherine Lewis comes up with the ball. And she'll shoot for three, no good. Rebounded by Brocken, putting it up and no good. Brocken getting the rebound once again. However, it's Fairhurst, and this time it is the Sandwich Blue Knights who come down with it. Still tied at 2-2, two, two, 5.35 left to go here in the first quarter. Who do you have for specialists outside of your academic teachers, Fernando? Um, I have Mrs. T right now for our TV documentary, as you know. Uh, Mr. Taglia, who is yep. the leader of the Brockton High School TV Production Club, which is helping out with tonight's broadcast as we have a foul down low against Brockton. Sandwich will be shooting two at the free throw line. Outside of Miss T, what are you taking? Um, actually, that's the only superlative I'm taking right now. It's the only extra class I have. At the line and giving Sandwich their first lead of the game is number 12, Mike uh, Meg Reardon. Meg Reardon hits her first of two. She'll try to go two for two at the free throw line. And does just that. 4-2, you score a sandwich on top. 5.25 left to go here in the opening quarter. Brockton High School currently amidst February vacation as a stolen basketball courtesy of the Sandwich Blue Knights. Laying it up and in is number four, Caroline McKenna, 6-2. All of a sudden, on a 6-0 run is the Sandwich Blue Knights with 5.05 left to go in the first quarter. That was a very well-utilized timeout by the Sandwich Blue Knights, just 35 seconds into this game. It seemed a little abrupt at the time, but I can see the method behind the madness of their head coach as their team is now playing very well against a team that's quite frankly supposed to beat them. Peter, I constantly hear you talking about your radio show. Would you like to tell me more about it? Say that again, please. I constantly hear you talking about your radio show. I'd like to know more about it. On this broadcast, I'm constantly talking about the radio show. Tatiana Diaz, for three, no good. Rebound by the Sandwich Blue Knights. Will I host AM 1460 WXBR's morning show, weekday 6 to 9. I advise you to get up real early tomorrow and listen, despite the fact you can sleep in for February vacation. Well, How's that sound? I'll probably be up anyway because I have drama rehearsal, and so I'll probably be up at that time. So 6 to 9. WXBR 1460, three-pointer courtesy of Brockton, a one-point game all of a sudden, six to five. Brockton trailing by one with 4.02 left to go in the first quarter. And if you don't want to listen on terrestrial radio, just Google the TuneIn app for WXBR. You can also get that on your phone and listen to the live stream. Very loud gymnasium here at Staff Gymnasium for senior night. Brockton's final regular season game of the year as they take on the Sandwich Blue Knights. Brockton trailing Sandwich 6-5 to five with 3.50 left to go in the opening quarter. Has it been an eventful and fulfilling February vacation for you thus far, Fernando, with you being a junior in high school? Um, actually, the most of my February vacation has been taken up with drama rehearsal. I'm in their competition show, Wiley and the Harry Man. And so we've been rehearsing all week for it because actually next week is when we start traveling around with it. We'll be going to Marblehead on Saturday, March 1st. So tell us exactly what a drama competition is, what it entails. So um, each high school that enters the competition, which is called the METGs, the Massachusetts Educational Theater Guild, they hold the competition. And so each year, we're, a school will host like preliminaries and so all the schools w will go to this one school and do their plays and so if you get scored by judges and if your play moves on then you would go to it's like a tournament so, you so it's would like go. march madness of high school plays yes exactly like that okay and so you go all the way up to states and if you go to states you get to perform at in a theater in boston 
And so it gets really crazy around that time. And I really hope we make it to States this year. We made it to States last year, and it was a great time. One of the best times I've had in my life, actually. Less than three minutes to go in the first quarter. Sandwich with the ball and with the lead. Eight to seven, 250 left to go in the first quarter. That's a foul against Brock. He's Tatiana Diaz. So Sandwich inbound from the opposite sideline with two minutes and 50 seconds to go. Fernando, are you an actor? Um, last year, I did tech, which is all the backstage work. But this year, I am acting in the show. So what role are you playing in this play? So this play, I'm a swamp creature. And so, as I said before, it's Wiley and the Hairy Man. And what it is about, it's about this little boy who lives in a swamp with his mom, who is a witch. Nice and block by Brock and Tony Fairhurst. She's on fire today. Continue, Fernando, but we could not let that go without comment. And so there's this guy called the Hairy Man who had killed this boy's father. And so this boy is terrified of this man who is haunting the swamps that he lives in. And so the whole show is about the boy trying to stand up to his fears. And so I am one of the swamp creatures that the hairy man conjures up with his magic. Well, Giannisha Silva Moore just gives Brockton back the lead. Nine to eight, three-point attempt by Sandwich. No good, rebounded by Tatiana Diaz. The Sandwich Blue Knights have been facing the fears of this juggernaut Brockton Lady Boxes team fairly well thus far. That's a double dribble called against, not a double dribble, a call, a travel called against Tatiana Diaz. A buck 58 left to go in the first quarter. Brockton up by one. Nine to eight. What are some of the other schools you compete against in this uh, high school drama tournament, if you will? Um, we're going to be facing Framingham, who is actually doing the same show as us. And um, we'll be versing Cambridge Ridge and Latin. They did a really good show last year about um, a couple on their honeymoon. But uh, the show had a great twist to it. The uh, couple actually were not the couple that were supposed to get married, but it was actually the bride's sister and the groom, and that was, uh, it was quite a good show. Very interesting. Brockton will inbound the ball from down low. 143 left to go in the first quarter. Brockton on top, nine to eight here at Staff Gymnasium. Lewis with the ball, looking for help, and nearly ripped out of her hands by a Sandwich Blue Knights player. And I think a jump ball was called. It'll be Sandwich ball, a buck 40 left to go here in the opening quarter. Did you know Ronald Reagan wanted to be a radio show host? I did not know that I knew Ronald Reagan prior to becoming president was an actor. Yes, he... Um, Actually, he, he was also uh, he was also a radio play-by-play -play announcer for a little while. Yes, he did baseball. Where did that come out of here? <laughs> well, I was thinking about you hosting your radio show, and okay, then I thought I gotcha. it, that's how I got the Ronald Reagan connection. Do you think I'll be president someday? Is that what you're aiming towards? Maybe. Maybe I will be president. Maybe. We'll see. I'll vote for you. I, I appreciate that. I'll be eligible to run in nine years. Nine I'll be eligible to vote in two years. Well, I mean, it's going to work out perfectly then. You will have long since been voting. Just don't become a felon. <laughs> I'll do my best. Short jumper from the inside. No good. Brock with the rebound. It's Lewis coming down with the basketball. Gets it over to Gianasia Silva Morton. Inside to Aliyah Brito. Outside to Tatiana Diaz. Diaz to Lewis. Lewis is going to shoot the three on her own. Sinks it. Brockton on top, 12 to eight, and this crowd is very loud here inside Staff Gymnasium. 37 seconds left to go in the first quarter. 12 to eight is your score, Brockton is on top. Says the call of your future president, Peter Zimboy. Trivia question, where is there an airport named after Ronald Reagan? I do not know where the Reagan airport is. Washington, D.C. Oh, did not know that until right now. Now you know. Giannisha Silvamore for three, no good, rebounded by Sandwich. Less than 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. Sandwich makes the two-point game. Less than two seconds to go in the quarter. Brockton launches this one out. No good. First quarter concludes. Brockton leads Sandwich by a score of 12 to 10. You're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. If you are Sandwich, you have to be happy right now with the way you played throughout the first quarter there. Coach says way to compete as the girls walk back over the bench. Like I said, Brockton clearly the superior of the two teams in terms of the record and more or less everything else on paper, but Sandwich to this point is holding their own at 25% through the game. 
Peter Zimbor and Fernando Martins calling the action here courtside from Staff Gymnasium. Fernando Martins, a junior here at Brockton High School, member of the Brockton High School Television Production Club. This is your first time joining me here, courtside of the broadcast table throughout the season. You've fulfilled some other duties on these games throughout the year as a part of this broadcast. What have you been doing on other games and what have you learned as part of these uh, professional live-to-tape broadcasts? Well, um, most of the time I'm in the truck doing graphics and, well, I've learned to, I had to pay attention to the game during that because, uh, well, you have to know the score and you have to make sure that the correct quarter is marked on the scoreboard and everything. Um, it's pretty fun actually down there. You're with all the guys and they're making comments about everybody else. And so it's pretty fun. We get to hear everybody and see everything in the truck because you see all the point of views of the camera. And so it's hard to miss something, but it's also very easy to miss something in there because you're distracted by everybody talking. It's a unique environment, but you're learning on the job, my friend. Tatiana Diaz with the ball for Brock and gets it over to Giannis for Silvermore. Attempts to get it to Silvermore. Off of fingertips, out of bounds. That makes it sandwich ball with 7.38 left to go here in the first half. Basketball fan prior to the start of the season working on these broadcasts, or have you become one uh, increasingly as you've watched the games? Um, I've never been really into sports, but um, I find them not that bad anymore as I've been working on these games, you know? I used to not be able to watch them, but I find them perfectly fine now. Catherine Lewis with the ball down low to Fairhurst. Fairhurst tries to get it over to Brito. Risky pass, and it does not pay off as Sandwich gets their hands on the basketball. They have it right now. What is your favorite sport, Fernando? Um, probably lacrosse. Oddly enough, lacrosse to play or to watch? Oh, both, actually. My friend um, plays lacrosse, and he's teaching me right now, but I used to watch it with him all the time. And so I'm just it's starting to learn how to play with him. So what do they randomly show lacrosse on ESPN Weird Hours, I'm assuming? Um, I don't know of any lacrosse leagues, though I'm sure many exist. I, I actually don't know. I usually just go over to his house and we just sit down on his couch and watch it, so. Who's the big lacrosse players these days, anyone? Uh, I would not know by name, actually. Yeah, does it's such not, a thing exist? Um, probably not, no. It's not really that big of a sport here. I mean, um, I think the closest thing to like a uh, league would be like a semi, semi pro league, not even a real professional league. I think there is a professional lacrosse league there's a team that plays the TD Garden, I believe. I think they section off a large portion of the crowd as they're not going to draw 22,000 to lacrosse. But I think there is one that exists. Their name escapes me at the moment, however. Um, the team that my friend and I used to watch, they play at um, Harvard Stadium. So I've, I didn't know there was a team that played at TD Bank. I know the Boston Breakers female professional soccer team play at Harvard Stadium. Fancy passing courtesy, or good passing courtesy of Sandwich. Unable to connect with the layup. Same score now as was at the end of the first quarter. 12 to 10 Brockton with less than six minutes to go in the first half. Not the team has scored yet here in the second half. Gymnasia Silvermore for three. No good follows up. A shot gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Brockton up by four, 14 to 10. Outside of lacrosse, what is your favorite sport to either observe or to compete in? Um, Probably to watch soccer, but really? that, yeah, that may be because of my upbringing. My grandfather is really, really into soccer. Actually, both of them are. And um, I played when I was little, but I've lost interest in playing since then. But um, I must say that soccer is the number one sport to watch of our uh, director, Paul Mandeville. Loves soccer, can't get enough soccer, wants soccer all day, every day, nothing but soccer. And if you think I'm being facetious, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Soccer gets a lot of crap in America, but um, outside of America, it's the number one watch sport. So, I mean, there's that. I don't watch much except for the World Cup. Down low for Brockton, number 10, Natasha Elias, the junior Brockton on top, 16 to 10, with five minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the first half. Timeout called by the Sandwich Blue Knights. It was a well-executed timeout by Sandwich, just 35 seconds into the game. Let's see if the coach can get more out of these girls as they're outgunned in terms of skill and athleticism seemingly, but they've maintained being able to hang in this game competitively to this point. 16 to 10, Brockton on top, five minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the first half. 
So with you being a student here at Brockton High School, which of these members of the Brockton Lady Boxers team do you have classes with and do you know? Um, I recognize Serena. She was in my Algebra 2 class last year, but I don't recognize any of the other girls. Number 12, Serena Amato. Tell us some things about Serena Amato that we might not know otherwise had we not spoken to you. Uh, she giggles a lot. She giggles a lot. Yes. I don't know if you said giggles or googles, but she giggles a lot. She giggles a lot. So she, she's got the laugh. Yep, the, the and uh, she doesn't pay much attention in class, but that's ah. all I really know about. I haven't really spoken to her. So Serena Amato does not pay attention in what class? Uh, Algebra 2. Algebra 2. That was last year, though. That was Who last knows? year. Maybe she, might, she might have changed. Maybe she has uh, found a newfound interest in Algebra 2 and pays attention every day. My Algebra teacher at Brockton High was Mr. Townsend. Is he still there? Um, I've heard his name around, but I don't... I've never had him. Sounds familiar, though. There was a scam that we had. If we didn't want to do anything in class, we would ask him about his uh, favorite computer game, EverQuest, and he would get off on a tangent about EverQuest, and we wouldn't have to do math for a significant amount of time. For any kids out there that have Mr. Townsend, you can send those dollars my way for that tip if you don't want to do math. <laughs> three-point attempt by Brockton. No good. Rebounded by the sandwich Blue Knights. That was Natasha Elias for three. 4.37 left to go in the half. 16 to 10. Boxes on top. Nice steal by Catherine Lewis. It's going to bounce, but I like the hustle. Um, number 24, Catherine, was in my entrepreneur studies class for two days before she switched out. Ah, Catherine Lewis. What were those two days like with Catherine Lewis? Uh, very quiet and awkward. Why were they very quiet and awkward between you and Catherine Lewis? Well, it was, it was the first time we've ever met, and it was a new class, and the beginning of the year, and those few days in those, those classes are always the most awkward. Down low, that is Sandwich making the four-point game, 16 to 12. I did not know that uh, those days would be awkward for you guys. I was hoping you guys would be more sociable. Tatiana Diaz with the rebound that's out of bounds. I actually had class with Catherine Lewis's sister, Nisi Lewis, back in the day. Nisi, if you're watching, hope all is well. I haven't seen you in like 10 years. for three, no good. Tatiana Diaz with the rebound. She thought about taking the three herself. Now takes it inside, gets tripped up, takes a spill, and we've got a whistle. And that's going to be a foul against number five for Sandwich, that being Haley Whalen. Brockton inbound from down low. Aaliyah Brito checks into the game for Brockton as Tony Fairhurst takes a breather. 3.53 left to go in the half. Brockton on top, 16 to 12. Aliyah Brito with the ball outside to Elias. He puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Sandwich. Maybe you should try to talk to Catherine Lewis again. It wouldn't be as awkward. You guys know each other for at least two days now. You're commenting on her basketball. You should try to strike up a conversation with her. I'll definitely think about it if I see her around. I may say hello. All right, down low, that's Aaliyah Brito taking the whole sheet, draws a foul. She'll go to the line, shooting two. That is a foul that goes against, I believe, number 23. Excuse me, number 32 for Sandwich. I had my numbers backwards, a little dyslexic there. That's Shannon Mosher call for the personal foul. 16 to 12, Brockton on top, 332 to go in the half. Aaliyah Brito at the free throw line. First of two of the charity stripe connects. I like saying her name, Aaliyah Brito. Brito's a fun last name to say. Brito is a fun last name. It's like burrito, but shorter in one syllable. Brito, actually it's two syllables. Burritos are nice. I like burritos. Two for two, Aaliyah Brito at the line, 18 to 12. 3.30 left to go in the half. Best place to get burritos in the city is burrito wraps on Crescent Street. Uh, go in there and tell the proprietor, Alex, I said hello. I like Brazilian Grill, which is the restaurant right next to there. That is correct. Nest little plaza over there on Crescent Street. I also like the comic book store down there. Those fellows are really nice, except for one old man who is actually quite rude in there. All right, well, you know. The other guys make up for him. Yeah, the other guys do. I've never been inside there, but I assume. Are you a comic book fan? Um, I've actually just recently gotten into them. Um, I've actually dragged my friends with me into them, and they're like, comic books, what? Stupid, they're nerdy. 
we're not gonna like these. And then uh, actually they've started reading them more often than I do, which I thought was ironic. So yeah, I don't read comic books, but I like comic book movies. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Um, that's how uh, that's how we my whole gang was before. And then I was like, uh, if I like these stories in movie form, I might like them in book form. With so, pictures. Yes, with pictures. Sandwich with the basketball. Tatiana Diaz playing some very tight defense, courtesy of Brock. Now she's moving backwards. Gina Silva Silvermore picking up the slack with some tight defense. Sandwich doing their best to move the ball Ooh. down the court. Since we started talking about comic books and comic book movies, do you know enough to answer me this question? DC versus Marvel. I probably don't know enough to answer the question. Giannisha Silvermore from the outside for three sinks at Brockton on top, 21 to 12. I probably don't know, but what's the question? DC versus Marvel. So uh, they're two big comic book companies. I do know that. Are you trying to see which one I prefer more? Yes. Um, I'll go with DC because I think Batman's the best and Batman's DC. You, you are correct in overall with everything. DC is obviously the more superior, but a lot of people would like to disagree with me on that. Uh, you know, it's a subjective thing. Three-pointer by Sandwich makes it a 21-15 game. Brockton on top. Sandwich trying to extend upon the lead uh, the deficit further. And that is number 14 for Sandwich taking the hole. She draws a foul. She'll go to the free throw line. That's Leah Adams going to the free throw line for the Blue Knights. 21 to 15, Brockton up by six. 148 left to go in the half. And that foul goes against Brockton's number 12, Serena Amato, who does not pay attention as of last year in Algebra 2, according to our Fernando Martins. And giggles quite a bit. What would make Serena Amato giggle in Algebra 2 class? Give us a story of what caused some giggling on her part. I have no idea. I sit across the room from her. And so I would hear her from across the room, but I would never know. I thought it was quite the boring class. Oh boy, oh boy. Our teacher, Mr. Jills. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Mr. Jills, a fine algebra teacher, I'm sure. He was a good teacher. A little hard to understand at times because right. of his accent. But he was, he was a good guy. He was a good guy. I liked him. 21-17 Brockton on top. A buck 37 to go in the half. Gianasia Silvermore from the outside. Six to three. 24-17 Brockton on top. 125 left to go in the half. Point game now, Brockton up 24 21, 36 seconds to go in the half. By the way, with it being senior night here and Tatiana Diaz being the only senior on the Brockton team, I'm noticing that atop the bleachers on the 
Brockton fans out of the court. They have written in paint the letters T-A-T-I-A-N-A -A for Tatiana and D-I-A-S for Diaz in her number 22. Very nice, Tatiana Diaz night essentially here at Staff Gymnasium. The Southeastern Regional team has not recovered since her departure. They were tournament bound with her as a part of the team, but eh, they have not fared quite as well since she's left them. The first half concludes in Brockton with a three point lead. 24 to 21 is your score. Brockton over the Sandwich Blue Knights. We'll step aside for a quick break. When we return, second half action. Stick with us here on Brockton Community Access. Back here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton hey, High School in the it. City of Champions for this BCA Sports presentation of Lady Boxers Let's Basketball. Go, the Lady Boxers lead the Sandwich Blue Knights 24-21 to begin the second half. And right off the bat, the Sandwich Blue Knights steal the ball. Sandwich very competitive at this point. Inside the perimeter, or no, outside. That was a three, number 12, Meg Reardon. We have a tie game at 24, 15 seconds into the second half. Sandwich has come to play tonight. That is sure. They're looking to take an early second half lead right now. Ball out of bounds, and they're going to say it's scraped by a Brockton player, so it will be Sandwich ball. 7.32 left to go in the third quarter. Sandwich wasting no time here in the second half. They came in a little slow at the beginning of the game, and the coach had to call a timeout 25 seconds in or 35 seconds in. They've come out quick here in the second half. Gianasia Silvermore right now with the ball for Brockton. Tied up at 24. Silvermore over to Catherine Lewis for three. No good. Rebounded by Sandwich. Or attempted to be rebounded by Sandwich. They lost it. Brockton down low. And putting it in for two is Tony Fairhurst, the sophomore. Brockton has the lead 26-24. 7.02 left to go in the third quarter. Have you ever seen the show Freaks and Geeks? Yes, lasted one year, about a decade ago. Yes. Good show, yes. I just started watching it. Why does that show still have a cult-like following after all these years? I still hear kids mention that they've seen it and they enjoy it. Yeah, it, it has a cult following now. I've seen a bunch of stuff on the internet about it. and I, um, Actually on Reddit, I've seen a bunch of pictures with uh, captions from the show's quotes. And I thought it was very clever and funny. I should check it out. And I checked it out and I loved it. The only episode I really remember is the episode where the hot girl and the geek make out in the closet. I've That's not gotten to that episode yet. I've um, I've just finished the episode where um, Kim, the really mean girl that goes out with James Franco, she um, freaks out because her mom and her get in a fight. And the really awkward girl is there with them in the kitchen. She's just being awkward. I haven't seen that show since it actually aired on television, so a lot of the character names escape me in the plot twist at this point that I do remember enjoying it. 26-24, Brockton on top, 5.59 left to go in the third quarter. Where, where were you watching Freaks and Geeks these days? Um, it's on Netflix, and so I saw it, and I was like, I need to watch this now because I've seen heard so much about it. And so... Yeah, I'm trying to get my friends to watch it too. When did that show come out, you know? Um, it only aired for a year, was it? But yeah, it only has one season. I'm not sure when it aired. I know it takes place in the 80s. It was somewhere in the 90s that it um, aired, but really? I'm not sure exactly. I was going to say early 2000s, but maybe it was late 90s. Rebound by Catherine Ready? Lewis for Brockton. Ready? Over to Tatiana Diaz. So Catherine Lewis for three, no good. Gets her own rebound. Nice job following the shot. She draws the foul. She'll go to the line and shoot two. Catherine Lewis doing an excellent job following her shot. That's a foul. Goes against number 33 for the Sandwich Blue Knights. That being Carly Whittle. Lewis at the line shooting two. First of two, no good. Yeah, James Franco was on that show. Yeah, so was uh, Seth Rogen and yes, he uh, was. Jason Segal. All-star cast. Yep. All their Seven. TV show debuts. 
all debuted at the Get same it. time on the same show. And everyone really seemed to like that show, but for whatever reason, it didn't last. Laying it up and in for Sandwich is number 23, Casey Noonan. Tie game at 26, 515 left to go in the third. Brito with the jumper, no good. Fairhurst with the rebound, gets it over in the hands of Giannisha Silvermore inside the paint, puts it up, no good. That was off the hands of a Sandwich player. Brockton ball down low. Tatiana Diaz for three, no good. Rebounded by Aliyah Brito, but dribbles it out of bounds. It'll be sandwich ball. James Franco is actually a college professor. He teaches at a few universities. I know one of them is uh, University of South California. He teaches film. I did not know that. The last time I was in Sandwich, uh, was for the wedding of one of our cameramen tonight, Mr. Aaron Tebow, him and his uh, bride Elizabeth. Thank you. Got married, I believe, in 2010. Did they serve sandwiches? Did they serve sandwiches at Thanks. Aaron Thanks. Tebow's Thanks. wedding? In sandwich. I don't recall. I recall more of what was imbibed that night than what was eaten. Janesha Silvermore for Brockton is going to put it up. No good. She draws a foul. She goes to the line to shoot one. Prior to that visit to Sandwich, and I know the folks who were there at BCA will tell me this, will agree with me. The most exciting high school sporting event I've ever seen in my life, Division Three basketball between Cardinal Spellman and Martha's Vineyard. They had a tournament game at a neutral location in Sandwich that went into triple overtime. Triple overtime? And not only to go into triple overtime, but I believe Martha's Vineyard had to overcome an enormous deficit at halftime to come back in the second half to get it into overtime, then it went into three overtimes. It was just a fantastic game, and the entire gymnasium was rocking. 27-26, Brockton up by one. 4.36 to go here in the third quarter. Ben Affleck playing Batman in the next Superman movie? Uh, I did hear about Ben Affleck playing Batman, yes. How do you feel about that? Well, as Tony Fairhurst puts it in for two inside the paint for Brock and boxes up by three. Right, yeah, there's got to be better choices, but I'm not going to passionately show any disdain for it. There's more important things to worry about than that. Very true. Catherine Lewis for three. Rebounded by Fairhurst. Puts it up no good twice. Now this time rebounded by Sandwich. 3.37 to go. Ill-advised pass by Sandwich, but it's going to work out ultimately. Laying it up and in for the Sandwich Blue Knights is Shannon Mosher. Wouldn't have thought that would have worked out, but it did. Down low, Brockton lays it, and that's Fairhurst. 31-28, Brockton up by three. 3.20 to go in the third quarter. This has been a very exciting girls basketball game. It has it's gone, been going by very quickly. It's very fast paced, back and forth. The few games I've recorded for women's basketball were very slow paced. Brockton has had the lead the case. in this game more often than not, but Sandwich has been in it through thick and thin. 31-28, Brockton on top, 3.14 left to go in the third quarter, and the Sandwich Blue Knights are at the free throw line. That is number 14, Leah Adams.
Tatiana Diaz down low in the hole. Crowd explodes. An ovation for her on senior night. 33-29, Brockton on top. Short jumper for the Blue Knights, no good. And that's gonna go out of bounds. It'll be a uh, sandwich, Brockton ball. goes against Brockton's Kathleen Lewis sandwich heading to the free throw line. It will be Shannon Mosher at the free throw line. 33-29, 2-12 left to go in the third. Shannon Mosher, I think she's ever been in a mosh pit. It's just the last name to do so. Never been in a mosh pit before. I don't think I've been in one since I was probably 16. Also, haven't been to too many concerts, so. Diaz lays it in, Brockton up by four, 35 31, out of bounds off Brockton to a three left to go in the third. Who would you like to see in concert? I, my two favorite bands are U2 and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So right. I would probably say either of them I would love to see. All right. Also Green Day, I heard they perform very well live. Down low got a sandwich laying up in Meg Reardon. I think our director Paul Mandeville has seen two out of the three live, perhaps all three live. He's a fan of all three of those bands. I've never seen any of those bands live. Green Day's uh, American Idiot Broadway play came to Boston this month. That's the most overrated album in the history of albums. I can agree with you on that. It came out in the right political climate, but I would much prefer some of Green Day's earlier work than that. Thirty-five, thirty-three, Brockton on top of Buck 45 left to go in the third. My favorite song off that album is actually a song called What's Her Name. I know that song. That's a really good song. It is. It's a catchy little ditty. I like uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Yeah, that song got overplayed real quick, but I, it was a good song. <laughs> Lead singer of Green Day just released an album with Nora Jones, of all people. Collaborative album. It's an odd combination. Yeah, I have not heard anything from it, but I know it was released. Speaking of Broadway plays, have you heard about the Spider-Man production they've done on Broadway? Yeah, wasn't the guy getting really hurt who played Spider-Man? Uh, actually, eight people got injured in the production. Yeah, like a lot of really dangerous stunts were done during it. It was also the, the uh, most expensive Broadway play to produce. And I think uh, you too did the music, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, I think they did a song, but not... Okay. There are nope. nope a bunch of... Uh, Almost like Come on over, blue. tributes to certain bands that blue, were made in that hustle. thing. And but April Dingwell, the head coach of Brockton, comes on the floor as Aaliyah Brito is slow to get to her feet and uh, walking off what her ailment she suffered from. That show totally bombed on stage. The box office rates are terrible. and the, Spider Man? Yeah, the reviews are really bad. And um, I saw the Green Goblin costume for the show. Was there a huge demand for a musical version of Spider-Man? Uh, I, not that I know of. <laughs> Seemed like a weird investment. You know, they're, yeah. they're doing a musical of the movie Rocky. I did not know that. That's a, yeah, I would never think of that. I can't wait to see Apollo Creed's entrance with James Brown. Too My bad the real James Brown is dead. My favorite Rocky is Rocky IV. Is that the one where you face the Russian? Yep. Yes. I believe that movie had as much to do with ending the Cold War as Ronald Reagan. How's that? I can agree with that. Aaliyah Brito gets it over to Contain. Natasha Elias. Contain. Yeah, Caroline. Beautiful. 
what I was saying about the Green Goblin costume, though, is that uh, it looks like a Kiss costume painted green. Gene Simmons on St. Patrick's Day. Yes. 35-33, rocking up by 251.4 seconds left to go in the third. I could see Kiss doing a musical. They'll do anything with his money. They'll license the name to anything. I could see there being a Kiss the musical. I mean, Green Day got their own musical. Uh, ABBA got their musical, Mamma Mia. Kiss will do songs from the elder coming to a Broadway stage near you. That's actually the worst Kiss album. <laughs> ABBA and their musical, Mamma Mia, they did not play the song Fernando, which is one of their most popular songs, and, and also my name. name. And so I'm quite disappointed with them. I don't them. think I've ever heard that song. I've had heard it in a long time. Didn't I remember Lady Gaga have a song called Fernando? No, it was Alejandro. It was Alejandro, but, but she mentions Fernando. Yes, in the she song. does. Yeah. She does. My uh, the director, Mr. Hogan, for the Drama Club. When I first joined the Drama Club, he would always sing the Fernando song by ABBA when he talked to me. Lady! but he's gotten over the phase. Tony Fairhurst puts it in for two for Brockton. Brockton up by four, 37-33. Time out! And timeout called by the head coach yeah. for the Sandwich Blue Knights. 14.8 yeah. seconds left to go in the third. I don't know if they heard the timeout. Evidently they didn't, he shouted it, so no timeout. 14.8 seconds left to go in the third. Brockton up 37-33. I teach at a high school and I had a girl in my class named Alice, so I, I had to sing Al Elvis Costello's Alice on the first day. Also, I had a Layla, and Eric Clapton's Layla. Yeah. We tipped out. I don't know why, but uh, when I transferred to Brockton and I would introduce myself, I would say my name is Fernando, and people would re would ask me, is that really your name? Like, I lied to them. I don't know why they would do that either. Two seconds left to go in the third. Third quarter ends. Brockton with the four-point lead. 37 to 33 is your score. Brockton on top, but Sandwich making a good fighting effort out of it. We have eight minutes of basketball left to be played. You're watching BCA Sports. Peter Zimbor and Fernando Martins calling the action courtside here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School. Well, this one's not set in stone for Brockton yet in the win column. Tony Fairhurst with a nice block. Tatiana Diaz now with the ball for Brockton. Stops, slows things down, gets it over to Aliyah Brito. Short jumper, connects. Brockton with a six-point lead. 39-33, 7.35 left to go in the game. Nice teamwork exhibited by the Lady Boxers.
Three pointer by Sandwich. Number 23, Casey Noonan. One point game, Brockton up 39-38. 6.05 left to go. Tony Fairhurst down low, puts it up no good, puts it up again, no good. She's fouled, however, goes to the free throw line. Brockton only up by one against this sub-500 sandwich team. Come on, let's scrap now! Come For all intents and purposes, this is Sandwich's playoff game, Fernando. Oh, really? Well, I mean, they're not going to the actual playoff, but a win over a team as highly regarded as Brockton would be probably just as good considering their 8-11 and 11 record entering this game. Brockton now up by 2, 40-38 with Fairhurst at the free throw line. Fairhurst, the sophomore. Ganesha Silvermore with a takeaway. Lays it up, in, in, count the bucket and one, she'll go to the free throw line. Rocking up by three, 41 to 43, 38. Ganesha Silvermore with an opportunity to make a three point play out of this with 5.23 left to go. Blocked by Tony Fairhurst. Gianasia Silvermore now with the ball. Lays it up and in again. Fairhurst with the fine defensive play. Silvermore follows up with the offensive play. 45 38, Brockton on top. 5.07 left to go in the game. Timeout called by the Sandwich Blue Knights. Brockton really waking up in this last few minutes or so here, Fernando. This has been a good way to end the season for broadcast of regular season basketball here in BCA, has it not, Fernando? It has. It's been a very fast-paced game. I've actually been interested and invested in the Lady Boxers win. Well, right now they lead by 7, 45 to 38, with 5.07 left to go. Catherine Lewis lays it up, no good. Rebounded by Silva Moore. Over to Tatiana Diaz, thought about the three, takes it inside the perimeter. She'll take it to the hole and well defended by Sandwich. I think we have a whistle blown that will result in a foul against Sandwich down low and Brockman had in the free throw line and that is the case. This foul sends number 11, Tony Fairhurst, to the free throw line for Brockton. It goes against number 33, Carly Whittle for the Blue Knights. 4.44 left to go in the game. Fairhurst shooting two at the free throw line. First of two, Swish. Hey, Sandwich, now let's keep going. Let's not give up. Four minutes left in the season. Come on, now. Hearing the word sandwich so many times has made me a little hungry here. Mmm, sandwich. 47-38, Brockton up by nine. 4.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Look at that, Gianasia Silvermore punches the ball out of there. 
with the steal off the glass and in. What a play, Gianasia Silva Moore. Give that girl a sandwich. 49-38, Brockton on top, 431. She deserves one. She does. How do you think she likes her sandwiches? Uh, turkey on wheat with lettuce, tomato, and honey mustard. Might be I, right. I'm just, I'm well, just ask her. I have no well, idea. Ask her. How do you like your sandwiches? Exactly the way I just mentioned that she probably would. <laughs> when I go to Subway, I get uh, turkey with Swiss cheese and bacon on wheat with chipotle and spinach and bell peppers. Sound like a man with a plan. I like the sweet onion chicken teriyaki at Subway, but I digress. 49-38, Brockton on top. 4.31 left to go in the game. Silvermore again down low, Brockton up 51-38. It's a nice time for Brockton to extend upon their lead here late, late in the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Tatiana Diaz lays it in, and with 3.35 left to go in the game, Sandwich uses what I believe will be their final timeout. Three minutes and 35 seconds left to go. Brockton leads 53 to 38, and yes, that was the Sandwich Blue Knights' final timeout. While we've got an opportunity, we'd like to thank the Brockton Community Access crew for tonight's broadcast. Director Paul Mandeville, Aaron Tebow, Matt the Mad Dog Nelson. And who do we have helping out for the Brockton High School TV production side of things, Fernando? Uh, I see Zachary and Braxton. We also have Watna. And then there's myself, Fernando. I believe that's everyone. And of course, under the tutelage of Miss Lynn Tartaglia, who is the television production teacher at Brockton High. She's a great woman. What did Mr. Taglia teach before she taught TV production at Brocken High? I actually do not know the answer to that question. She taught math in the Green Building, I believe. I did not know that. I did know, however, that she worked in California with ABC. That is true. Did an early feature story on a young Oscar de la Hoya, Tony Ferris gets it up to Tatiana Diaz, off the glass and in. 55-38, Brockton on top. 3.22 left to go in the game. Silva Moore down low. Gianasia Silva Moore has had a fantastic game. She can have a sandwich and an ice cream for dessert. And ice cream for dessert. Well deserved breather for some sandwich players who have fought very hard tonight. They've done well. They should be proud. Aaliyah Brito for two, 59-38, Brockton up by 21 by far and away the biggest lead of the game for Brockton.
Tatiana Diaz with an enormous ovation as she heads over to the bench. 141 left to go in the game. Brockton on top, 59-38. Come on, keep scrapping, Sierra. Hands up. Keep playing. Don't give up. Don't give up. Fairhurst down low. Brockton extending upon their lead. It's been an excellent fourth quarter performance by the Brockton Lady Boxers. Some nice momentum as they head into the MIAA postseason tournament. And we're going to see some substitutions as some Brockton players we have not seen yet tonight make their way into the game, including Serena Amato, your former compadre in Algebra 2. And Kiersey Joseph, the junior, checking in now for the Lady Boxers. In this period, we've paused at 444, and now we've paused at 111. That's a unique observation, my friend. Less than a minute to go in the game, and a short jumper by Kiersey Joseph, the junior. That makes it 63 38 Brockton. That shot partially deflected. Less than 30 seconds to go in the game now. Fairhurst with the rebound for Brockton. Four seconds left. And the clock stops with 1.1 seconds to go. And chance of 22 in honor of the senior Tatiana Dean is coming from the crowd. She's got a huge fan base. And that's the game, folks. The Lady Boxers finish off the season with a 66 to 38 victory over the Sandwich Blue Knights. Excellent fourth quarter performance by the Brockton Lady Boxers. Well played game by the Sandwich Blue Knights who played a lot better than I think most expected them to. Well, for everyone here at BCA Sports and the Brockton High School TV Production Club, my broadcast partner, Fernando Martins, I'm Peter Zimbor. Your final score, Lady Boxer 66, the Sandwich Blue Knights 38. We'll see you in the MIAA playoffs. Until then, good night. <laughs>